Natasha, thank you. By the way, Natasha, welcome to the team. We haven't had a chance to say hi yet, but uh, that's Natasha's sweet, everybody. All right, uh, hey, look, we're going to have to really hustle to get through this next segment because we've got so much to do. Uh, we've got a lot of things to juggle. We do. You've got just the right guy. And we're going to do it. Mark, okay. thanks so much for having me. Barry Friedman is here today. You've heard us talk about him. He's a world championship juggler, and we'll, and we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. But your latest cause is pretty incredible. You are challenging people to go sugar-free. Now, what made you decide to do this? Well, it's funny. I look at science, and I look at how I was feeling in life and where I was going, and uh, the World Health Organization issuing new standards on the amount of sugar we should eat, and it's crazy. Six teaspoons a day. Most kids are, have blown by that halfway through breakfast. Right. So, you know, and this is not like 1966 when the FDA finally started realizing all the bad stuff that nicotine is doing and started enforcing warnings on cigarette packages. We are there right now. We are there with sugar. Okay, so first off, you decided to do this. Yep. You decided to do it two years ago. Yeah, uh, leap day. Because, <laughs> you, and then you wrote the book that says basically, I love uh, me I love more me. than sugar. Yeah, I love me more. And it's a decision we have to make. Do we want to keep eating like we've always eaten or do we want to decide who we want to be? But as what adults? were the benefits? Of uh, stopping e eating sugar. Well, I'm in my high school pants. Can we see from that? That's kind of yeah. nice to be in 32 inch waist pants again. That was not the case. Wow. I was up to 38. And, you know, heavy carrying a five gallon jug of water, which most of us are familiar with, that's 40 pounds. And, you know, that's very easy to have on your body extra and hauling this thing through life. The clarity. A couple things happen with sugar, two on the inside, and that's everything that happens in the brain, anxiety, uh, depression, all that goes away. And uh, just how we feel, how we sleep, that totally changes on sugar. You look like you're on a sugar high now. Man, I haven't had sugar in so long. <laughs> but you don't eat sugar, and, no. and you don't do caffeine. And no, I said, gee, you don't look like you're dragging. No, that's my own thing. I just never got started on caffeine. I know it takes work to uh, get used to the taste, and I put in the work for beer, but I haven't done it. For <laughs> okay, let's talk about uh, kids. Yeah, Try to so, get kids involved. So it starts, you know, baby formula is two of the first three ingredients in most baby formulas corn syrup and sugar and it's terrible so it starts a treadmill peanut butter and jelly sandwich this is a standard of the school lunch and I'm gonna give you a little quiz mark two Twinkies or the peanut butter and jelly which has more sugar I'll bet it's a trick question because I'll bet it's the peanut butter and it's jelly. the peanut butter and jelly how about now uh, well now it's got to be the Twinkies no still peanut butter and jelly how about now uh, Twinkies kept now up it's yet? Even, yeah. Now it's even. So peanut butter and jelly is the same as same sugar as four Twinkies. Four Twinkies, and it's just terrible. And we can reduce this. I'm a big fan of protein in the morning for kids. It rebuilds the tissue. These are corn cakes. These are yummy, nice and thin, thin, thin. <laughs> for <laughs> for <laughs> sandwiches, and you can put protein on these. You can even make a peanut butter and jelly. There's no reason that peanut butter has to have sugar. Check your brands. Check your now, labels. Now, world championship juggler. Yes. Uh, how does one decide that that is going to be my career? Because you perform for for president. Yeah. And all over the world. Tonight show appearances, uh, presidential command performances, Showtime specials, and it's it's funny. Sugar works into that. I was in so many green rooms, like your green room. <laughs> right. With right. Yummy snacks and all these amazing snacks and. You get to choose. What do I want to do? What do, how do I want to feel? And I tell you, as adults, we have this one shot at life, and what we put in is what we get out. So we were looking at you and your brother. Yes. Uh, is that you or is that Raspini your bro oh, that's, brothers? That's Howie. That's Howie Mandel. Yes. Okay. I was, uh, <laughs> was going to yeah. say he's got, got a lot of hair. Toured with him for six years. It was a lot of fun. Really? So sugar. Let me show you this. Sugar is about choosing. Let's step over here. Sugar sure. is about choosing what you're going to put in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and how much you're going to you put in your mouth. Did you just suck a ping pong ball into your mouth? Yes. What are you going to put in and how much? <laughs> I'm going to put in two. And what we do with this is we just get to think about what we're eating and how much I would... <laughs> oh. oh. Barry, have you ever sucked one of those down? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately. <laughs> okay. So getting kids involved with food, you know, we make kids uh, ants on a tree. This is just raisins with peanut butter on top of celery. Mango, one of the most sweet foods in the world. And it just takes a little while for kids to recalibrate. Something like candy destroys taste buds. We talked about this earlier. Yeah. Sugar is addicting. It, oh. it, it, it is like a drug. And so to recalibrate, like you say, really is getting your body used to being dependent or happy with something else. Absolutely. And it takes about, you know, I, I, I lead a program called 30 Days Sugar Free. Now, there's we a website for that. 30daysugarfree.com. In fact, put slash TV at the end of that, and you can see so many recipes that I've made for folks that catch me on TV. Uh, mangoes. And this is fun. I get kids involved with food. You got a close up on that one. This is a kid makes this and they want to eat this. This is a little car with bananas. But you can hand a kid a banana or strawberries and they may touch it, but make it fun. Let them get involved in food and I tell you, everything changes. Before we run out of time, we're almost out of time. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you got you to show me here. Uh, this bowling ball represents what? Right. This is an eight pound bowling ball. This is how much sugar an American child eats in about three weeks. 
Eight pound right bowling there. ball. Yep, and this is an apple. This is the best kind of sugar in the entire world. Comes with fiber, turns into glucose. Your brain knows what to do with it. And then we got a racquetball racket. This represents exercise. So I'm going to show you. Let me show you this and see which one, which one looks like it's causing a problem. Yeah, it's the sugar. It's all the sugar we eat. So this apple, we can eat this thing all day long. I feel so good. Oh, gosh, there we go.